Hey, welcome back to this time of studying devotion time where we're actually focusing on how to study the Bible. Now, last time when I visited with you, I talked about a course. One of the keys to studying the Bible is getting a pen and paper, you know, or getting a notebook, getting a journal, getting a pencil and a journal and to start writing. We're getting to the place now where we're going to learn a little bit about what we might write as we're studying God's Word. Again, I'm hoping that during this season where you're at home, many of you are anyways with a lot more time on your hands, you're going to decide to journal and study God's Word. And what I said last week is that the beginning point of studying God's Word really begins with something called meditation on the Word. And I talked to you last week about what meditation really is. It's really a chewing on and a digesting of what it is that you're reading. And I want to expound a little bit about on a little bit about how a meditation of the Word works. Like how do we actually chew on God's Word? There's a lot of different ways that people do this. I'm going to share with you one that we teach often here at our church on how to meditate on God's Word. But as we pray going into it, saying, okay, God, reveal to me whatever I need to be revealed. God, I've got my pencil, I've got my journal, and now, God, I'm ready to read the Word and meditate on it. As we get ready for that, one of the first things we want to do is we want to take a scripture, we want to pick that scripture out, and we want to begin to picture, picture the setting maybe, picture, do a little visualization of the scripture, maybe take yourself back in time to try to place yourself in the setting. This is something maybe some people don't oftentimes do, but I found it to be helpful. Helpful. We're in a, a, an image-driven visual time, we're visual people, so just visualizing in your mind hey, what does this look like for the setting that I'm in? I think it helps maybe put some things in perspective. Your mind is probably not going to accurately depict exactly what it looked like, but I love being able to just take time to picture the setting. And then I'll take a particular scripture, and as I'm meditating on it, I will begin to read it and pronounce it. Okay, so, so I picture it, and then another letter P is pronounce it. I'll read a text and I will pick out and highlight specific words in that text as I'm preparing to study it. So I might say, take the scripture where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but through me. And you know, I can actually break that down word by word almost and pick apart very specific pronouncements of that text. You know, I am, Jesus says. what. What does that mean? The words, I am the way, I am the, 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 not, I am the only way. I am the, the way to what? I can unpack that. Uh, Truth, what is truth? I, I can take it word by word and, and unpack each word meaning. I can do that when I'm meditating on scripture. That's the pronouncement. So I can picture it and then I can move into pronouncement. And the other thing I can do when I'm reading scripture is I can paraphrase. So I, I, I can take the text and try to understand the meaning and then circle back and say, it, how do I make this come to life in, in today's vernacular? Like, wh- what do I need to, to, to reword this? Not changing the meaning, not at all, but you know, what does this mean for me? And try to paraphrase it. This is another way you can utilize in meditation, studying the Word of God. And then ultimately, we will take that text and we will begin to personalize it. What does it mean to me? What does it mean for me? You know, one of the ways we do this, I've talked about this before, John 3, 16, taking the word and saying, you know, for God so loved the world. And so I put my name in there, put my name for God so loved Gary. That's a personalization of the scripture and and take putting my name and, and putting an understanding that this this is to me you know that the Bible uh, consisted of originally what we knew of as the Torah really it was called the Torah first five books of the Bible Genesis Exodus Leviticus numbers Deuteronomy the Torah and what we see when we read Psalms is that's a a text where David is talking about how the Torah the first five books of the Bible applied or or, pers- or personalized to him. So you read a lot of Psalms, you see a personalization for David 
in the first five books of the Bible. And you and I do this as well. We should be taking the text of the Bible. Now we have more than just the Torah, taking the text of the Bible and saying, what does this mean uh, in my own personalization? And, and then ultimately, and I'll talk to you about application here in just a second. Uh, that's what David was doing when he was writing in Psalm though. He was meditating on the word in such a way that he was bringing a personalization to it. And then I put the letter P in my notes, probing the text even more deeply. All right, so I, I'm sharing with you just, just some ways that we can study this and meditate on God's word. And this is probably one of the most critical. The, when I say probing, this is where we're really taking an in-depth look at the text. So I get my scripture and I begin to probe it through. There's a lot of different methods to do this. I probe the word through what's called the SOAP study Bible method. That's one of the things we teach in New Steps here at our church when you go through 101, 201, 301, 401. Along the way, we teach the SOAP study method. This is a meditation, this is a probing method. And what does SOAP stand for? The letter S stands for taking the scripture. So I pick out my scripture. I mentioned last week that this can take sometimes to probe a scripture and to study it. You, you may not be able to do, uh, but maybe a passage of scripture over several days because you're gonna study it more deeply. Uh, maybe you take a verse at a time and you could take a verse a day. But when you're really probing scripture, you take, you take it and you really unpack it. So the, sto the soap study method says I take a scripture that I'm studying, a passage, whatever it may be, and then I begin to observe it, asking the questions, you know, what does this mean? Where did this take place? When did this take place? Was it before Jesus came? Was it uh, before his resurrection? Dur during a time where he's he was on the cross, maybe in the tomb after the resurrection, ascended into heaven? You know, I, I have to understand these things as a part of it. I'm, I'm observing by asking the questions, who, what, where, when, why, how so that I make sure I'm putting in the proper context. Is there an Old Testament scripture, another New Testament scripture that ties into this, that this ties into, that goes along with it? This is how you and I observe in our study method. And then here's a beautiful part of SOAP. Ready? Scripture, observation, application. This is one of the most difficult parts of Bible study because we love to study the Bible, oh, study the Bible, study the Bible, but we have to apply it to our lives. And the letter A is application, meaning how does what I just read apply to me right now? What steps do I need to take to put it into action in my life? Again, this is all a part of meditation. This is all a part of studying the Word of God. And then the letter P is after I've studied a text. Remember, I opened in prayer. Now I close in prayer. This meant this to me, God. This is the application I took away from it. God, thank you for your word, your truth, and now I'm applying this to my life. Help me apply this to my life. S-O-A-P, scripture, observation, application, prayer, completing really a part of how we meditate on God's word. We're writing it down, we're journaling it, and then we move on to the next scripture. I'm gonna talk more about how to handle the studying of God's word next week, but I wanted to give you the fullness of what meditation looks like and how to really unpack the scriptures. Thank you so much for watching. I wanna close in prayer. Father, we give thanks for your word again, God. Uh, God, that we have a text written over so many years and in, and in our minds we say, okay, this is thousands of years old as well, God, but now when we unpack it, we see how it applies very powerfully and accurately to our lives today. God, we are thankful for the truth of your word that can change our lives when we unpack it in a way that it speaks directly to us. Your word comes alive. We give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.